government will be rolling out a progressive campaign against malaria this year, following a 46% increase in the number of cases over the past five years. Minister of Health the Honorable Dr. Frank Anthony made this announcement on Friday, ahead of World Malaria Day to be observed on Sunday under the theme, Reaching the Zero Malaria Target. We have started uh, training and we'll intensify this training for uh, persons in the community who would help us with rolling out of a malaria education program in regions 1, 7, 8, and 9. So we have started training for 120 persons in, in these different regions. Minister Anthony notes that 94% of the cases in Guyana are from the hinterland regions. He says the Ministry of Health is making prevention a priority even as treatment for the disease is being boosted. Some of it would have to do with um, managing the vector, that is the mosquito, uh, making sure that we can reduce the mosquito population. Then you have uh, strategies that would help to prevent people from being bitten by mosquito. And you have strategies, of course, when people get infected uh, with malaria that we are able to treat them appropriately so that we can prevent them from dying from malaria. The Ministry of Health has acquired some 95,000 insecticide-treated bed nets and will be distributing them to individuals in regions 1, 7, 8 and 9 over the next two months. These insecticide um, would be on these nets, they can last for as long as three years. So if a mosquito, if you're living in one of these areas where there's a lot of uh, malaria and mosquitoes and you use these bed nets when the mosquito lights on the net um, it will come in contact with the insecticide and die so that's the strategy that is being used they will also distribute treated nets to be used with hammocks minister anthony says guyana is aiming for a significant reduction in malaria cases by 2025 Meanwhile, the health minister is advising people taking medication for malaria not to take the COVID vaccine until they are fully treated. Now, that's not to say that persons with chronic diseases must come off their treatment. We're not doing that, right? If you're diabetic or hypertensive, you continue with your treatment and you can receive your vaccine. In the cases of these infectious diseases like malaria, We'll prefer you to finish your treatment that is ongoing, and once you finish your treatment, then we'll give you the vaccine.